All right, guys, we are back for another Dokkan Battle video. I do not want to fall out of doing showcases in Red Zone Movie Boss Rush. Uh, Red Zone Movie Boss Rush is very good um, to show some specific characters in some specific situations. And it's such a long fight, I think it really can be quite good footage for us to get. Oh, this is perfect. Okay. So, uh, Kid Buu is a character who's actually good. So, we could just... You know, put him right there in slot one, and we're, we're going to be fine. Um, any damage we take throughout this run basically is inconsequential, right? Because we're on the Majin Buu team. We're just going to heal up like crazy. Um, this fight could be good, especially with, you know, the build I'm rocking for Kid Buu, where we've got full dodge on him. Um, you know, he'll dodge a couple of hits, but the point with it is that you'd want to dodge kind of like the crucial critical. Okay, well, we still got the four hits instantly. Okay, there you go. So Kid Buu is fully built up already. Um... I still want to do videos in here, though, because this is kind of like the longest fight. So a lot of characters, we could kind of let them spread their wings like crazy and stuff like that. Um, I'm probably just going to cut around. Again, the first, you know, four phases of Red Zone Movie Boss Rush are really not crazy. So we'll just do like a turn of Kid Buu against every phase. And then, you know, we'll come back and stay for good once we get to Bojack. All right, guys. Uh, now we're going up against Lord Slug. Um, now, Lord Slug sometimes can be a bit of a threatening... No, not actually. <laughs> no, he sure the hell can't. Let's just uh, let's just get a nice little rotation. Maybe I should have kept um, Fat Boo on rotation, but hey, well, this is going to work out well. The thing about this fight, too, is that, like, in... Fat Damn, he did a lot of damn... Oh, my God. This is Kid Boo. Bro... That, that's the Kid Buu effect. He's, his first attack is 13. Okay, and then his second attack is 15. Yeah, I do think that Evil Buu right here is probably the best banner unit. I It does lead to an interesting conversation of... Like, they restricted him very, very heavily. But, like, look how ridiculous he is if we're running full Majin power. He is so ludicrous. And... He is a Dodger Die character, but I mean, he's a Dodger Die character that literally can survive a KO hit. So it is kind of, uh, you know, he's. I uh, do. Pure Evil Boo is pretty damn good. Oh, uh, whoops. I went into kind of like autopilot mode. I kind of. I started the rotation, but uh, here we're, we're going up against uh, Final Form Cooler now with, with Kid Boo. I'm just kind of leaving Pure Evil Boo on rotation. Maybe I shouldn't. I probably should float him. Because he's doing so much damage that we're going to speed blitz. Remember, uh, you know, I, I, it's something I reference all the time. But people do have this huge obsession with, like, damage and stuff like that. When in a lion's share of these fights, in truth, you are going to be doing significantly better if you're moving slower. Going through a lot of these big fights. Especially a fight like this where, you know, th this is going to be a really really long fight where we're going to be able to stack up and stuff like that let's see how uh, mr goat does against this he should eat this pretty well <laughs> yeah a countdown super that does that hilarious um all right yeah i probably really should leave one of the fat boos on rotation i guess i'll just stay since we're going to be back on that other turn in two seconds and i probably will float pure evil boo um one thing i really should make sure to do um is that we get to like start being careful who to float right about now uh because remember bojack is very threatening with his locking and his ceiling capabilities right both of those uh really can be very tough to deal with so let's see here let's float pure evil boo uh we could go and transform into super boo right here well he's gonna be capable of doing a lot of damage as well to be fair Alright, so now we have a uh, Super Boo here. Uh, I guess we could intentionally not get a ton of rainbow orbs, although there's not really very many rainbow orbs here anyway. Uh, so we'll just let this turn go through, and then once we get the Bojack, we will, you know, stay. Uh, again, we want to be careful of the characters we potentially float um, to put in front of Bojack. Bojack is... Uh, the only place I guess we could really lose here is probably Bojack. 
Um, because the one thing is, Super Boo right here, um, is good, but the biggest bosses can cuck him. But in this fight, Super Boo has type advantage against Broly. So it's not really going to be so much of an issue for us. So, alright, let's, um, you know, let, let's just get there. Yeah, I mean, Mr. Goat has type advantage. I mean, it, it's like Boo Tanks would have to get killed by Broly, but it's not going to happen. I, I, I just don't see how we could possibly lose in this fight. It's, it's, it's going to be pretty easy to, to like... To just finish this off. Alright, guys. Now we're moving on to Bojack. Bojack, of course, is a threat. Um, his damage really is not... Yes, yeah, yeah, this is... Yeah, Bojack is a is a tricky little bitch here. Uh, no reason to use Fat Boo's Ghost Usher. Um, definitely not. Alright, so Kid Boo is sealed. That does hurt Kid Boo, Because that's going to, you know, keep his defense from being too crazy. Um, I definitely do want to make sure to give the Rainbow Orbs to Super Boo here. Um, cause now against Bojack, I, we're not gonna do us, ourselves any favors, um, by not trying to just tear through Bojack as fast as possible. Uh, you do not want to kind of just, like, chill in the Bojack phase, for sure. This is where, like, if, you know, at, at times, like, when we're gonna do showcase and stuff, I, I, I might consider using, like, I don't know, like, if we have, like, AGL UI Goku on the team, or... You know, in LR Evolution Blue Vegeta or something like that. Maybe popping their actives against Bojack to just try and get through him as quickly as possible might be a really good idea, right? Rather than saving it for Broly towards the end. Um, Boo is easily capable of this. Boo can get snuffed out by the biggest bosses, but Bojack is not... Like, his damage is not on the level that's going to hurt Super Boo, right? For sure. Um... Bojack, where he'll catch you, his Bojack's damage is not that crazy. More so how Bojack will catch you is he'll lock a weak character in slot one. Okay, he did not seal Boo Tanks, which is what I cared about. We'll just do this. Um, Boo Tanks might not be guarding right here. I, I guess, okay, if you want to talk, how could we possibly die? Maybe, like, right here, right? Like, I'm intentionally leaving Boo Tanks in base form uh, to stack up some more. I guess if Bojack supers in the middle slot and Boo Tanks... Uh, does not guard or does not dodge, and then Pure Evil Boo does that, I guess. That's no good. Yeah, hey, buddy, uh, that doesn't help. I, I think there's a chance Boo Tanks maybe could have lived the super, but probably not now. All right, yeah, uh, Pure Evil Boo wasn't really, uh, <coughs> wasn't, <coughs> wasn't really too good. Thanks, Pure Evil Boo. I mean, we just got done with a dick sucking session on him, and then he just does that. Okay. All right, all right. Uh, Boo Tanks will not die to normals. A super attack, uh, would definitely be a major problem, though, after Pure Evil Boo took, uh, 700k damage. <clears throat> Alright. <laughs> Boo Tanks, let's, uh, let's tighten it up here, baby. Make sure you're guarding, make sure you're dodging. Okay, that's good. We're fine. Because what is he gonna do? Kill Fat Boo? <laughs> yeah, go ahead, cocksucker. I think he probably actually would kill. If he supers right here, I think he probably would kill Fat Boo. All right. Um, well, remember, we're on the Majin Buu team. We'll, we'll bring it back. Um, what do we think? Do we... Do we just do we just go Mr. Goat in slot one? Do we do Kid Buu? I would really like to save the Ghost Usher. Would I? Now, nah, the Ghost Usher is not that... This is not a run... Where it's like, dude, like, we got to make sure we got the Ghost Usher for Broly. Nah, we got the options to live against Broly. I'll, I'll toss this right here. Uh, I made the oopsie of using that before Kid Buu got his orbs, but, I mean, it's fine. Like, even, like, not getting the healing right there is not really going to affect us at all. Uh, this is going to keep us from getting a ton of um, rainbow orbs with Mr. Goat as well, but uh, it's fine. Remember, he, Mr. Goat, he heals um, from rainbow orbs as well. The team just has so much HP regeneration, it's, it's really quite nuts. Unfortunately, we're getting a lot of Fat Buu being um, sealed, which is unfortunate. Now, yeah, I, I felt comfortable doing that because we just have so many characters who would be able to live. Okay, so you're... 
you're locked, you're sealed. Um, we do have guaranteed guard on this turn, so Boo Tanks is completely 100% safe. Absolutely no problem with Boo Tanks whatsoever. Uh, remember, Boo Tanks has guaranteed guard if HP is under 90%. So that's good. So not getting the the cookies with that Boo actually you know, may have been good. Bojack didn't super attack anyway. Notice Boo Tanks is already at a million. I probably should get Kid Boo next to Boo Buhan. So that way Buhan... Yeah, this is perfect. Because we, we should run Exchange Boo in slot one and Buhan in slot one. Those will be our two slot ones. So let's float Kid Boo off right here. Um, and then, you know, we're going to be good to go. That way we'll have Kid Boo plus Buhan with, with Big Bad Bosses uh, together. That that little jolt will help Buhan a lot. Um, I don't... Yeah, it, he's just not strong enough regardless. Um, Janemba is not killing Fapu regardless. Either Fapu. I think if we put my Fapu, which has lower defense, all that would happen is we would take a bit of damage, but he wouldn't actually die. So, there's just no point. Gen th this is the problem with Red Zone Movie Boss Rush. One of the big issues, I think, for it is this Janemba fight kills the momentum. Because, again, the first foot, like, GT, mo like, well, I, I was, I was, GT Red Zone Boss Rush is going to be nuts. Because it's going to go from Rildo locking to Great Ape Baby AoE to Super 17 Key Blast absorbing to Ice Shenron locking to Omega who is going to have the countdown super that's probably going to be like a 4.5 million super or some shit like that. And it's not... Like, remember, the strategy against, like, Trunks and Blue Gogeta is, you know, where people will say, oh, just kill the boss before they kill you. Sometimes you could do that against Gogeta and Trunks. And, well, not really. Tr Trunks, never. Trunks will always super attack right away. But Gogeta is, is random. You could get a run where you could kill Gogeta before he supers. And I'm not even talking about, like, Ghost Sush or something like that. It's uncommon, but you could do it. Right? Gogeta and Trunks are kind of squishy. Um, so, like, people will say, like, just kill the boss before they kill you, which is, you know, 99 times out of 100 dead wrong. Um, but in these boss rushes, Broly has, like, the most HP of all these big bosses there. I mean, technically, Cell Max has more, but it's a differently... It's a different structured fight, right? Like, we get it. Um, so, I don't think you're gonna... You're not gonna... Like, you could have the best offensive characters in the game. You're probably not gonna be able to slice through Red Zone, Boss Rush, Omega Shenron before he can get a super attack off. I'm, I'm, I'm like, positive that that's going to be the way it is. So, that's something to keep in mind. Uh, okay. Uh, looks pretty good. We can... No, let's... No, no, no. We want to transform Buhan right here so he can have all of his Buhan stacks up going into Broly. Let's do this. This <laughs> is now, I can sometimes toy with the idea of Buhan being the best villain in Dokkan character right now. Um, I would probably lean more towards um, Broly as the best villain in Dokkan. Probably. But uh, Buhan is, is, I think, definitely right there. I, I haven't really put a tremendous amount of thought into, like, you know, ranking the top 10 LRs because it, it's it's just a, a fact of the matter that at, there has not been a top 10 LR contender um, drop on JP Dokkan since since this guy, this guy in SDR Vegito. Since they dropped, we've not had a top 10 LR contender because that it's just the way it is with Dokkan. Dokkan, December, January, February, they dropped 50 LRs. And then they cool it out for a while until we get, I mean, I guess I guess until we get to the middle of June. Because we get two LRs in the second half of June. We get an LR in July. We get two LRs in August. And then two LRs in September. Summonable LRs, right? So we what, what we really have in Dokkan is there's two periods a year that are very LR heavy. Um, and remember, that global players, by the way, this schedule is going to be like this for you guys soon. Very, very soon, right? So... Uh, just, oh my god, pure evil boo, please, dude, I, I just, I, I already, bro, the dick sucking session already happened for pure evil boo in this video, and since then, he's just been like, all right, watch me shit on my pants, pure evil boo, please, man, let's, uh, let's, uh, let's tighten up, buddy, let's tighten it up, um, 
All right, so let's take a look here. My Fat Boo has really not gotten very many stacks. So I, I would, my Fat Boo is also the one with the Ghost Usher as well. Let's leave him around. I do want to give... Well, yeah, sure, we'll give that to uh, Exchange Boo. Um, I mean, what's the worst that's going to happen, right? Like, my fat boo gets killed by Janemba? <laughs> no, it's not going to happen. Evil, if Janemba supered right there, I think Super Boo could potentially take some damage. Maybe 300k, maybe 400k at worst. Because remember, Janemba does lower defense, but it, it's still a super attack that... Oh, I forget every time. Yeah. This is something I always, always, always... that It's, it's like a running meme on the channel, right? That Janemba can be sealed. I don't know what... Again, when I was talking about how they kill the momentum in this fight, in Janemba does no damage. Dude, he's a weak-ass boss. It's not turn one. It's turn ten plus when you fight in Janemba. And he's a pussy. He does nothing. And then physical Janemba, for some reason, can be sealed. I don't know what they were thinking. The Janemba... Like, the Bojack phase is harder than Janemba. I, I don't know what they were thinking with Janemba. It kills the momentum of this fight. Now, Broly is very vicious because Broly can double, you know, 3 million raw super, 1 million normal raw, and then he can double super. And it's it's very, like, you can reasonably expect Broly with how many attacks he does, how low his cooldown is, that he can really be supering in any single slot once you, you know, we're going to be, you know, turn 17, we're going to reach Broly. And you can expect every single character has a good chance of getting supered, right? All right, let's see Buhan next to Kid Buu. Yep. Yep, 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 yep. That's pretty good. And then Buhan has, what, 50% dodge with that, too? These two, this is a this is a juggernaut rotation. Kid Boo plus Buhan. Man, really good. What's funny is they built the Majin Power team like this, and, I, like, I don't even really want them... I, like, a new Buhan is something we need, but now, with how the Majin Power Team looks, how it performs, like, I don't want them to do that right now. I would much rather they save Buhan for 2025 and beyond, right? Uh, the team is, is looking good. Uh, we'll see what, what happens, but remember, Buhan is not a character that specifically needs another Majin Buu character to be good, by the way, because he has Metamorphosis and Big Bad Bosses and Shocking Speed common villain links so buhan does not need a boo character specifically right all right pretty good pretty good uh all those stacks up he should be fine i don't i mean kid boo i do not think would die to Janemba. um kid boo i think broly could kill kid boo i do think so um probably yeah broly is really nasty um i mean I don't... I guess... I guess I should use the Ghost Usher here. I... I mean, there's no reason not to use the Ghost Usher here. Wow. <laughs> uh, don't mind me. Yeah, I'll take the five rainbows with him. Sure. That's, uh... Looks good. <laughs> looks good. I'm gonna pop this right here. There's no reason to... To hold on to this, right? We we're gonna get no value by holding on to it. I wish I would have been a crit, but whatever. Uh, cause th this way my fat boo will just get, um, some extra, uh, stacks, right, before, uh, we potentially have to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with Broly. 26, huh? Five rainbow orbs. That's pretty crazy. That's a guarantee crit. One more? Damn you, you bitch. He gave us a hit and potential system additional normal. If he'd have gotten a super right there, he'd have did so much damage to Broly. Oh. That would have been, like, Tech Vegeta attacking Broly right there. Um, so again, Kid Boo is, I, I do think, kind of the only character. I don't know how much damage he would take from Broly, but it, it, Kid Boo is, I think, the only character that really we would have to be concerned about. Because again, a lot of these characters have type advantage. And remember, in this fight, it's reasonable to anticipate a super attack in any single slot in this fight. Like you can't, you can't just assume he's not supering anywhere so uh we have buhan completely juiced so he'll be able to eat it rather well especially if he attacks first oh yeah and i i always go over it too but think of all the and there's very good chance we attack broke his super right there um the animations that they use from buhan is either him fighting base goku and vegeta or i guess well 
Yeah, because his attacks are not from when he's fighting Super Saiyan Goku and Vegeta. It's just base Goku and Vegeta or base Vegito. Like, they literally don't have animations of LR... Like, good animations of Buhan even fighting Super Saiyan characters. Think about that. Think about how crazy that is. I, I think Buhan did attack break his Super, by the way. They don't even have anim good animations in the game of Buhan fighting a Super Saiyan. It's like ridiculous. It's, 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 it is... Well... No, yeah, because because when he throw he overhand throws the key blast, that's base Goku and Vegeta. Then he charges up the key blast and he's flying at him. In the anime and manga, he never actually throws that because they fuse and then he just stops the attack. And then you know his twelve key is when he's fighting base Vegito. So like that is so crazy to think about. They literally do not have animations of Buhan fighting Super Saiyans in Dokkan, which obviously is gonna happen. I guess it's possible pure evil Buu could die here. I guess. He would need to really shit on himself. I Yeah, uh, Buhan absolutely attacked Bro, uh, Broly last turn. Broly does not just go 30 attacks in a row without... It's not how it works. That's that's not what he does. So Bu Broly only did one super last turn, and Buhan attack broke it. Another additional normal, you prick. There's super, okay. Buhan should eat this... Or, uh, super Buu should eat this really well. Let's see. It's a 3 million super, by the way. 3 mil. That's pretty good. Pretty good. I mean, type advantage creates a huge, like, discrepancy in Broly's ability to do damage to him, sure. But still, that is that is a 3 million blaster right there. <laughs> yeah, Majin Power is crazy, man. Majin Power definitely is a top team. I don't, like, I, I I guess that could be a fun video. I mean, I think June, I've mentioned this. June is going to start to get very slow for both Global and JP Dokkan. It's going to get real damn quiet. So, I mean, people are like, oh, do OST tier list and LR, SDR cooler long video and shit. Like, yeah, guys, that shit will be coming. <laughs> uh, you know, I, I will absolutely be listening to the comment section for videos in June because it's going to start to get real slow. All right, um, let's just make sure that Mr. Goat has his rainbow orbs. That's going to be very important. Because the chances that Broly supers in that last slot are very high. Very high. All right, hopefully Broly supers perfect. Okay, so Kid Buu is probably not going to get supered. Let's see how Buhan does the before Buhan attacks. Let's see how he tanks us. I'd love to see. <laughs> yeah, he's him. Yeah, bust out the honey for him. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's a big boy right there. Yup. Mm-hmm. Yeah, he's pretty filthy. That's what uh, Easy A's have saved Dokkan, bruh. Uh, that's, that's it. Like, period. Easy A's have saved Dokkan. Half of these teams we're running in every single video are half Easy A's. I think Broly might with the last one. Okay, we're good. Might have been able to be a super. Dokkan keeps up the easy A's. This game is just so much more fun. Because it's also really good for, like, free-to-play. Speaking of easy A's right here, Mr. Boo. Uh, when easy A characters are this good, the game can be fun for all players, right? That's a free-to-play character right there. That's a 3 million super, by the way. Yep. Mm -hmm. That's why a lot of global players lately have been like, where is the world tournament? We want him. That's exactly why. Because he has that ability. Like, he's... It's a world tournament free-to-play character who's a legitimate option on this team. Like, it's not, like, meme shit. Like, y you do want to run him. Mr. Boo. He's got to be the best free-to-play unit in the game, right? Like, Bobbity and Dabur are very good. Um, Bobbity and Fat Boo are not quite as good, but they're a, sol they're a solid character as well. But uh, at Mr. Boo, I mean, he is, like... Uh, he is actually probably legitimately one of the best free-to-play characters I've ever done. I, I, I mean, could, could we even say he's the best free-to-play unit ever? I, I feel like we probably could, right? Probably. Best free-to-play unit of all time. He might be, man. Roshi in the 6th anniversary was really crazy, though. Yep, there we go. Not even tough. I mean, Kid Buu has a monster effect. Kid Buu's effect, I think, for some people, might be tough to grade. 
because it's not like, oh, look at him tank that super. Oh my God, you know, like Kefla. Look at him do the four 30 million supers. Oh my God. But just understand like Buhan just, you know, <laughs> being the sauce God at the end right there. Like Kid Buu has a hand in that. Uh, Kid Buu's support is just so powerful. He fits on the team so well. It just works so damn well. So let me know what you guys think and I'll catch y'all next time.